everyone. Medyo maaga pa rito kaya may mga tunog ng manok kayong maririnig. Uh, so this is how the uh, our the, the Moodle site looks like in your laptop. So if ever naka-access ang iba sa inyo sa laptop. Uh, for this week, mayroon tayong online survey, Fear of COVID-19. And let's access it. So ito na yung ating Fear of COVID-19 survey. And dahil ako ang gumawa, I can edit this form. And I can check kung uh, ano na ang nangyari dito. So I can now check the responses. Kung ilan na yung nag-respond. So there are already 126. So siguro ngayon, I'm going to close na the acceptance of responses. And then, uh, let's just have a look of the result of the survey. So I noticed when I ran down the questionnaire that items number 3 and 4 are actually similar. Uh, doon sa ating journal, there are only 7 items that make up the instrument. Pero dito sa atin ay walo dahil mayroon tayong duplication. Siguro accidentally na duplicate ko yung item. Uh, items number 3 and 4, my hands become sweaty when I think about coronavirus 19. So, notice no magkasunod lang yung dalawang item but look at how people can be unreliable. Kasi may isang look at that. Iba yung distribution ng score even if the questions are the same and magkasunod lang yung tanong and the respondents are also the same. So, tingnan natin na kung gaano kabilis magbago yung uh, isip ng mga tao. But later on, we're going to delete this, one of these items. So, ang susunod natin gagawin ay i-download natin no, uh, itong responses na ito via uh, spreadsheet. So, I'm going to create a spreadsheet so that I can download the material. Pasensya na medyo mabagal yan. Mabilis na yan sa lagay na yan. Hayaan yung hindi kayo nag-iisa. No, pati si teacher ay hirap din na maka-access sa internet. Pero we really have to keep learning going in the middle of this pandemic. So we have noticed here the time stamp or the time na uh, may nagkaroon ng sinagutan yung survey and then we anonymize our respondents by only using their emails. So, ayan. So, what we're going to do now is to download the file and save that as a Microsoft Excel file in our uh, laptop. Then, we're going to open it So this is now our data set and this is the one that we are going to uh, use as our data file in SPSS. So my concern only is on the items uh, that make up the COVID-19 scale. So, mayroon tayong duplication dito. Tatanggalin natin itong isa, itong number 4. So, we highlight that and then we right-click our mouse and then delete the column. So, that's it. 1, 2, 3, and then we have number 4. And, and then number 5. Using lang natin. And then number six. And number seven. 
Pero later on, ito, papalitan din naman natin ito if we're going to convert this into uh, a data file later. Save muna natin lang. Alright, so if we're going to convert this file later on sa SPSS, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga variable name which is alphanumeric and then walang space. So, ilalagay lang natin dito. So, we're going to change our variable names. Uh, ito, every item in the questionnaire in statistics is considered as a variable. Kaya ito, papalitan natin siya. Email. Okay, so let this one be sex. And then this is age. And then this is highest educational attainment. Okay. And then civil status. So let's have civstat. <laughs> civstat. And then let level thought be just level and then number of years in teaching so years teach and then we have sg for salary grade and then we have item one covid covid 19 no? so this is let's have ju let's just name it item one item two and away we also have our reference Item 3, item 4, item 5, item 6, and then we have item 7. Uh, if we're going to read the uh, manual of how our items will be scored in the journal, uh, it gives actually score for each of the responses that is given by our respondents so for for agree they give five i want a four for strongly agree they give five for agree four for neither agree nor disagree three for disagree two and for strongly disagree one and then ang sabi doon what's this Keep the guards by okay. Uh, and then we're advised to add all the scores, and that makes up the score of the respondents. The higher the score that they get, the more scared or the more fearful they are of COVID 19. So, ito, ito convert lang natin into ito. to 7 na tayo ayan tapos we find and then replace tingnan natin din sa option dapat naka check na match entire cell contents para kung ano yung hinahanap yun lang talaga yung papalitan we have to check this one okay. so may nakalagay na no the, the first one that we're going to replace is the response strongly agree. Dapat siya ay 5. So, replace all. So, there are 248 replacements there. Okay. So, yan. Yung lahat ng mga strongly agree ay naging 5. And then, the next response is agree. So, replace that with 4. Okay. And then, we have neither. Neither agree nor disagree so that's three so we replace all okay there are 124 replacements and then we have disagree two replace all 161 replacements and then we have strongly disagree so that is one Place all. Okay, so we close that. So nakita ninyo yung ating uh, ver verbal uh, responses ay, or descriptive responses ay 
naging numerical na. So, let's just make some few edits. We adjust the column width into probably uh, 6. Okay. And na. Uh, so, the next thing that we're going to do is to get their score. The fear of COVID-19 score. So, what we do is just to highlight them up to this one. And then, we click the O to sum. And then, sum. So, ito na yung pinaka-score nila dun sa test. 20. Itong, ay, ay, si respondent number 1. So, the higher the score they get, ay the more fearful they are of COVID-19. So, ito yung data na ating pagpalalaroan all over the semester. Okay? So, we save this. This actually is the coding sheet. Uh, mas marite tayo because we already have an online questionnaire and everything is already done for us. Kasi kapag mano mano ito, you really have to recode the responses of your respondents direct from the uh, hard copy of the questionnaire. So dito maganda kasi ayan, wala na tayong mga i encode encode pa na sobra. So all that we're going to do now is to have Okay, kasi nandun na yung mga sagot nila, nakakategorize na, tama na rin naman yung mga spelling nila. Kesa you are coming from the hard copy. Yung tutorial natin doon sa site is an example of how are you going to go about preparing your coding manual and coding sheet into uh, a soft copy from a hard copied questionnaire. So dito, ang atin na lang problema ay let's just make the coding manual. So, our first variable there is email. Yung label niya is email, of course, of the respondents. And then, the value, whatever is it na sinulat nila doon, yun na yun. So, as is. And then, the next variable is sex. Okay, so, let's have sex. So, this is the sex of the respondents. So, the value, kasi meron na dun eh. Hindi natin ikupod as is. Okay. This should be value label. And then, we have age. So, age of the respondents, as is din. Kung ano yung nakasulat dun. And then, we have HEA. That stands for the highest educational attainment so as is then as in ang gender naman civil status wala naman tayong code na ginawa so that is the civil status as is so napansin ninyo yung numerical as is yung mga categories na nakakategorize na dun sa ating dataset as is na lang siya and then we have level so this is the level of education taught by the respondents mga public school teachers ito so as is na rin dun sa ating manual and then year stitch okay. year stitch this is number of years teaching years of teaching so as is din tayo doon kung ano yung sinagot nila and then we have SG salary grade that's it. salary grade so as is din kasi meron na rin tayo doon so dito na lang tayo talaga mag uh, magko-code no sa item 1 so, what is item 1 in our questionnaire? So, let's go back to the questionnaire. Ano ba yung ating item 1? The questionnaire. I am most afraid of COVID-19.
Okay, I am most afraid of COVID-19. So, yan tayo magko-code. Mayroon tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where 1 stands for Kasi ginawa na kasi natin siyang score eh. So, this one is strongly yung value label niya. Disagree. This one is disagree. So, I neither agree nor disagree. Agree and then strongly. Ayan. So, yun lang naman yung mga adjustments na kailangan natin gawin. So, sa item 2, yun ba yung ating item 2? Dito lang tayo mag-copy. Item 2. It makes me uncomfortable. So, as is na yung ating value, same. Same with number 1. So, ano ba tayo? Do? Do ba ang tawag natin doon kapag pareho? Or dito? Okay, galing. Pang masteral tayo. Dito. Same. Okay. With number 1. And then we have item 3. Item 4. Item 5. Item 6. Item 7. Okay, so, yung mga items natin. Item 2, then item 3. Ang galing na natin yung number. Item 4. yun pareho yung my hands become sweaty oh. palitan lang natin kasi tinanggal na pala natin I am afraid of losing my life sundan nyo na lang ako ha, kapag kayo gumawa and then we have item so itong 6 magiging item 5 So, puro tayo dito. Pare-pareho na tayo ang ating mga isasagot, ang, mga, eh, ang ating codes for uh, items 1 to 7 ay pare-pareho na. And then we have the score of the scale. So, this is the final score. That is as is. Kung ano yung score na nandoon sa ating in-adjust. So, you save this as your coding sheet and then coding manual. And then, uh, you send that to me as your assignment number one. So, gusto ko kayo ang mag-process. Parang ulitin nyo lang yung aking ginawa.